what's up everybody and welcome back to another blu-ray collection update and unboxing if y'all don't know me my name is david and i review movies over at cinemadeviant.com i started doing this as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as blu-rays and dvds go now i i it, it feels like it's been a while since i've done one of these and that's just for for you know the, the legit reason life i've been so busy with uh just life in general and things going on and then making other videos and then i gotta backtrack and make these videos and uh just so much <laughs> but there's a lot to look look forward to um, i'm trying to see if i can condense these a little smaller so that way um you know give you guys an easier viewing uh, of these videos um and then i i'm able to to kind of produce a couple more because there's a there really is a lot here uh, and i'm looking around <laughs> like, literally you don't see what's on this table there's a lot uh, but anyway, so uh, be on the lookout for for another one, probably coming really soonish. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right. First up, we have Gotham, the complete fourth season. Uh, now, with these uh, with these shows, with these DC shows, um, I have to watch all the seasons in order. Um, I can't skip around. With Gotham, I kind of fell off after season two. I didn't watch season three at all. So I had to go back and binge watch season three, then binge watch season four. So uh, that, that's another reason why uh, <laughs> I've been pretty busy. I've been trying to watch a lot of stuff too, so I can, that way I, I'm able to review it better. Uh, Gotham season four was actually really good. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Th this show is a, it, it's a great show, great Batman show, uh, because, you know, you see these alternate versions of... of of Batman villains and heroes and and they're like alternate origins and things like that. I love that. I love that so much. I think it's a genius idea uh and it's centered around, you know, Bruce Wayne and Commissioner Gordon. Um and seeing the evolution of those characters go on. I mean, we've all kind of read Batman comics, I'm sure, or know the Batman story, Batman mythos. Um and this just expands all that like immensely. And it's really really cool to watch. Actors are, are, are fantastic. Uh, I love the, the the costume designs and the the modernized yet kind of old school look to all these villains. Really, really cool. But anyway, here goes the, the, the front here. You see? And then the back here as well. You guys don't know what it's about. It has the special features as well. This one is out now from Warner Brothers Studios Home Entertainment. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open does come with a digital copy and then uh it does come with this this episode guide here in the inside i really appreciate these just i like to know the, the the names of the episode so if it's a really good episode i want to know which one it is exactly so the, i i really like that they put those in because i'm also able to follow along while i'm watching okay this one is you know uh season four episode nine and things like that so that's really cool i, I dig that a lot all right so here we have gotham uh season four uh disc one i'm sorry disc two disc three and disc four now we have this uh just fairly basic you know kind of disc art here nothing colorized uh too much it's more of like a print on there it is kind of like a bluish color though see there fantastic and then here goes the front back and spine for gotham the complete fourth season again out now from warner brothers studios home entertainment what do, you, what do you guys think about Gotham? Have you guys even started watching it at all? Um, I know a lot of people that I know don't watch it. Just because they're like, well, it's not part of the CW Arrowverse, so I'm not going to even go into it. Um, I actually really enjoy it. And and to be honest, I kind of feel like... I, well, maybe I tell myself it is just because, okay, it could be a part of a different multiverse, you know? The, the, the Flash deals a lot with multiverses. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just my thoughts. Uh, next up, we have... Higher Power, and uh, this one is out now as well from Magnet Releasing, which again, Magnet and Magnolia Pictures, they release some really good movies uh, a lot of the times, uh, movies that fly under the radar uh, for, for a lot of people, and this one has a really cool slipcover on it, fantastically embossed, and it like it has this, has this like a hollow foil type of hollow uh, effect to it, really cool, and it says here, from the producer of Transformers and G.I. Joe, Visual effect artist of 300, Fantastic Four, and X-Men Origins. So, uh, you have, uh, it's, it's coming from the producer and, and visual effects artist of these all, all these various movies, right? Um, here goes the back here, if you guys don't know what it's about, if you guys can see it. Okay, now, I am going to say that, that this was an interesting movie. 
Um, I watched it, and it deals a lot with, like, family. <laughs> family issues, family drama. Uh, a dad kind of being estranged from, from his daughter, and things like that. Um, well, it kind of gets really strange from there. And um, as you can see, it, it does say, again, producer, Transformers, G.I. Joe, visual effects artist, uh, 300 Fantastic Four, X-Men Origins. You find out really quickly that, okay, I, I, I can see that. Because this movie, and I, I don't... I actually really want everybody to watch this movie. Um, it's, it's, it's a really strange one. I watched it twice. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, and uh, you can see, see very, very, uh, just, I mean, it's very apparent that this movie is very visual, visual effects oriented and driven. Um, like, a lot. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. In this case, I'm going to be perfectly honest and say it was a bad thing. Um, it really distracted you from everything else that was going on. And it was like every five minutes was this big visual effects um, scenario happening. And um, I, I don't really think that that was needed at all um, to, to tell a story of this caliber. Um, I think without all that stuff without or, or minimal visual effects, it would have been way better, way, way better. But um, it just, it went on a different, uh, it was, it's on a different level. But I, I do suggest watching it, checking it out if it's on Netflix or something like that. Uh, check it out because I want to know your, your, your thoughts on it. I thought it was kind of just out there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and pop this open really quick. Beautiful slipcover. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, all right, here you go. Here goes the, the, the disc art here. There is some disc art, very minimal, very minimal uh, visual, you know. Okay, now that's weird. As, as for a movie that's very visual effects oriented and driven, um, <laughs> the disc art is very minimal <laughs> visuals. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for higher power. Uh, this one is out now from Magnet Releasing. All right. Again, very, it was odd. Odd is probably going to be the, the, the word that I would use uh, to, to, to describe that for sure. Um, all right, next up is a personal pickup. Um, I was uh, going on, I was on BestBuy.com a while back. And uh, I noticed, uh, I was looking, I think it was before the, uh, the Flash Season 4 came. Yeah, before the Flash Season 4 came out. Um, I was looking at it uh, for a release date of it. That's what it was. And I ended up finding out that they had... This is available. The Flash Season 3, the third season, in a steelbook. Now, usually whenever these are released, they're about like $45, something like that. Um, they had it for $12.99. So I was like, holy crap, okay, I'm, I'm going to jump on it. Because I don't buy them right when they come out uh, on you know, in steelbook just because they're so pricey. And I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, down the line, I already have like my, my wallet plan for other things down the line that I can't just, you know, drop 40 bucks, uh, for a steel book right, right when it comes out. And, uh, so I saw this 1299. I was like, okay, I got to do it. I got to jump. Through, uh, I got to, you know, pull the trigger on it. I have to, um, fantastic release again, fantastic artwork here on the cover looks great. And I love the flash flash is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Um, Check out the back there. Goes special features as well, and I believe this one uh, has the uh, the whole crossover thing as well. All the episodes, I believe, of the crossovers. Uh, so that's really cool as well. Let's go ahead and take this off so we can check it out. Oh, okay. Put that over there. All right. Again, fantastic artwork here. Love it. And in the back. Love that. I love that. Savitar. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this open does have a digital copy and then again episode guides that's big with me i love it really cool and this was a good season of, of, of the flash as well i really dug it dug the season flash i've pretty much enjoyed the whole way through uh for the most part okay here goes the flash uh season three disc one 
disc two, disc three, and disc four. Now there is some interior artwork it looks like. Let's go ahead and check that out. So I think I missed that when I opened it up initially. Okay, that's cool. There's a flash running. And I think the other side is like the continue continuation of that. Yeah. So you can open it up like that. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Really nice disc art. I mean, uh, interior artwork. Really cool. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for the Flash to complete third season. Um, this one is out now as well uh, from Warner Brothers Studios Home Entertainment. All right. So let's see here. Let's put this back. And next up, we have the Flash to complete fourth season. Let's see here. And this one is out now as well from Warner Brothers Studios Home Entertainment. A lot of DC stuff today, huh? <laughs> All right, and then here goes the back here. If you guys want to check it out. This one includes uh, all, all the episodes of the crossover for this season as well. Um, I really like that crossover too. This one's a really good one. All right, again, digital copy, episode guide, fantastic. All right, and then here goes this one, this two, this three and this four of the fourth season. Um, now this season of the flash, uh, it started out really, really good. And I, I really enjoy it. Uh, a lot of times my, my, uh, I guess a pet peeve of mine with, with certain shows is that they tend to start off really, really good and have a lot of filler in the middle. And then it ends excellently. Uh, this season was pretty, Pretty much, it was good the whole way through. There was a slight portion of it towards the middle that felt like it was it was starting to become very, very filler-oriented, where um, it was just like a random episode, and then you get a little piece right at the very end to further the story, you know, uh, through the season. Now, some may say, you know, okay, well, that, that you know, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, me, I want to feel like... I'm invested the whole way through. This season kind of, it started making me want to like, I, was, uh, I started kind of rolling my eyes. I'm like, oh, okay. Another one, another filler episode, really? But again, it redeemed itself towards the end. It was excellent. It ended excellently, I think. And uh, I, I'm really, really looking forward to, to, to season five, for sure. And that one should be starting up pretty soon. Oh, let's go ahead and take a look at the front, back, and spine for the Flash for the complete fourth season. All right. Next up, we have, uh, this is a movie from the MVD Rewind Collection. Um, this one's Bram Stoker's Shadow Builder. Now this is an interesting one. I, for one, okay, for one, let me just say one more time how much I love this MVD Rewind Collection. It is amazing. I, I love the fact that they that they are bringing these movies, I guess, to uh, to a more mainstream or, or consumer type of market where, you know, they're available. And they, they have this really cool, like, throwback, you know, look to them. You, you, we're starting to see a lot of that. I think Walmart just put out some, some like, throwback VHS type of Blu-ray covers, slip covers and things like that for some classic movies. Um, movies like this, though, you don't normally see them out and about. Unless, you know, you saw them like at your your your, your video store back in the day. Um, so that's really cool. And I love seeing, you know, like these, again, under the radar horror movie titles and, and, and sci-fi titles and things like that. So this is really, really cool. Love that. Check out the back there if you guys don't know what, what it's about. Young Michael Rooker. Fantastic. Special features as well. It's kind of like small font, though. But, um... This movie was really interesting. Uh, I had never watched it before. Uh, so I was really excited to, to check it out. And um, and upon watching it, again, uh, you, you kind of know from these releases, they're cheesy horror movies, uh, you know, throwback cheesy horror movies. Um, but this one was the, the right amount of cheese. I'll say that. <laughs> it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I had a fun time watching it. And again, seeing Michael Rooker is always... Always a treat. I love Michael Rooker. He's a fantastic actor. 
really, really gets into to, to his roles. Uh, but really good. MVD did a great job on this release as well. Um, and they do come, they, each of these releases come with like little mini posters, which is really nice as well. I love that. It's a nice touch. Whenever they include like little extras like that, that's really a cool, cool little thing. Um, no disc art here. Just, I mean, but it's, it's plain, but I'm not going to complain because this is a really cool, nicely done release. does have a reversible cover as well. I like that. I kind of like the one that, that, that they did, though. That one. Really, really nice. And it had Tony Todd in it as well. Tony Todd's fantastic. Uh, great actor. If you don't know Tony Todd. Candyman. Anybody? Um, anyway, <laughs> so there goes uh, there goes that for uh, Bram Stoker's Shadow Builder. This one is out now as well from uh, MVD. All right, let's see here. Uh, next up, we have Freedom Fighters: The Raid. This is a DC animated movie. Now, this one may be one that that kind of flew under the radar for some people. Didn't know it was coming out, and I will be uh, I will be one of those people as well. I didn't even know that this was a thing. Um, and I really enjoyed the Ray on uh, the the Flash or well, the Arrowverse crossover episodes, um, where they went to uh, I forgot what is it what is it called? It was like this overworld where it was overrun by by Nazis, and all the heroes were Nazi versions of themselves, like bad guys. Um, and the Ray was part of these these freedom fighters, um, and his job was basically you know. To fight the good fight and, and, and fight against these Nazis, um, and he comes from another Earth. I can't remember Earth uh, Earth X. That's what it was. It, oh, that's that's what the episodes were called, Crisis on Earth X. Um, but yeah, so I really like the Ray a lot. I wanted to see more of the Ray, uh, but I think they they were doing they were doing that to kind of test the waters to see if maybe there could be a spinoff or, or something like that. Uh, and they decided to do an animated movie to give more story to the Ray and the Freedom Fighters. And this was a very interesting one. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, watched it, but the, those crossover episodes. But the Ray, he's he's gay, and uh, I thought that it was an interesting, uh, I guess, an interesting thing to to include that into into his story, into his backstory, and um, and to see that kind of play out a little bit more here, and see kind of like an alternate origin story to. The Ray that was in the... Um, it's confusing. A, an alternate origin story to the Ray uh, that was in Crisis on Earth X. Uh, this is basically, again, an alternate origin story for this Ray. Um, if you watch the movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to give too much away. But it was really nicely done. Um, you don't get, especially DC superhero animated movies, that kind of delve into that, that topic per se, and get really deep into it. it, it they got pretty deep in, in, into that topic. Um, and uh, my, my son, uh, when, when I got this, my son was like, oh, man, he knows about the Ray. I'm like, how do you know about the Ray? I saw the, 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 the Arrowverse uh, episodes that. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so he was like, can I watch it? It's like, let me watch it first and see how it is. Because, you know, sometimes these DC animated movies can be uh, like they're PG-13, they can, you know, maybe say a cuss word here and there. Uh, so I was like, let me watch it first, and I, I can I, I can tell you if, if you can or can't. Um, upon, you know, watching it, I was like, yeah, I, I don't know. This might be a little confusing for him. He's, he's, he's small, or he's younger. Um, so I decided not to, not to, you know, let him watch it now, anyway. But... It is a fantastic uh, animated movie. Again, one that you may not even know is out. Uh, I would highly suggest checking this out. Really nicely done. Um, and then the other nice touch is that they do have uh, the the Nazi uh, Nazi superhero villains in here as well. I think, well, I think maybe a couple of them. Uh, but they do have like Arrow and Flash uh, show up, and they are voiced by their respective uh, actors. So that was really cool as well. I, I like that. I like that they did that. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for this one. I really highly suggest this one. Check check out uh, the uh, the synopsis here if you guys don't know what it's about. And the one bummer is that we didn't have a whole lot of special features on there as well. You know, with the, with the bigger releases of these DC animated movies, they give you like, you know, extra episodes 
uh, of a cartoon and like you know more behind the scenes stuff and making of and da da da, da and we didn't really get that so that's kind of a bummer uh it does come with uh digital copy and then here we have the uh, dvd copy on this side which is really reflective and then the semi-reflective blu-ray on this side love the the image here of the ray fantastic and then here goes the front back and spine for freedom fighters the ray which is out now from warner brothers studios home entertainment and as you can see with this movie i spoke a lot with this one <laughs> i was trying to get my, my thoughts out on this one so i apologize for that next up we have hereditary and this one is out now as well from lionsgate now this one was an interesting one um I had seen it previously and it had been a while so I watched it again you know when, when it came in and um, my thoughts on the movie uh, initially were and, and to top it off it's an A24 movie so you know you already kind of know it's, it's an artsy you know kind of uh, horror movie um, A20 I say A23 A24 I don't know if I said A24 I don't know I'm starting to think now oh but anyway um Hereditary is one of those movies that, again, I, I kind of knew going in what to expect for the most part. Um, a lot of people were like, man, this is going to be the scariest movie you've ever seen. Um, you know, I'm a big horror movie guy, and I love to be scared. I love to feel uncomfortable um, and things like that. And, um, and so I was really looking forward to it. Upon watching it, um, I, I, I will say that it didn't really hit me. <laughs> like that like i didn't think it was scary it was creepy I, I will admit it was it was pretty creepy um scary and horrifying and like oh my god i'm having nightmares not nah, not really not for me anyway um but i i thought that the the movie started off very very strong very strong uh and it continued you know again it went started going down that creepy route and stuff and i it was building up and i was like oh it's gonna build up something big it's going to build up to something huge. We're going to get surprised at the end. And uh, we really didn't. I didn't, anyway. I just thought it was it was odd. Uh, and I, Maybe that's in, it was its intention, was to be very odd. Um, but I, I wanted more out of it. I wanted, like, a big, you know, moment. Um, and I felt like we, we, we kind of didn't get that. I know with, with some of these, you know, art house movies or, or artsy type of horror movies artsy movies in general um they always say less is more and i agree for the most part i really do because sometimes again your imagination your thought process you're thinking of okay what what was happening what's going to be happening after this um is maybe more imaginative maybe more interesting than what is actually shown on screen you know sometimes your, your thoughts are scarier than the movie itself uh you know I, I i i subscribe to that uh that that thought process but in this aspect, I really did want more. Like I was, I think I, and maybe it's my fault. I was building it up in myself so much that I was like, man, I, I'm, it feels like, like something's going to happen. Something big is happening. And then it, it just, to me, it, again, I'm going to say to me, uh, because I've come across so many people that are like, what do you mean you didn't like it? Uh, but to me, I felt like it kind of fell flat, uh, at the end, but very enjoyable, very creepy. Just, it wasn't the scariest thing that I've ever seen in my life. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> my thoughts on it. Sorry. Uh, here you go. If you guys don't know what it's about. And then the special features as well. I'm really curious on what you guys thought about this one. So, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about Hereditary. Um, Alright. does include digital copy. And um, very basic disc art for this one. Uh, which, again... With this movie, we don't need any disc art at all. Like, it could have just been black or white or whatever. This is fine. I'm good with that. Um, we didn't need anything, like, kind of crazy on it or too busy. Uh, because the movie itself kind of speaks for itself. So that's good. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Hereditary. This one is out now from Lionsgate. All right. Tony Collette was awesome, though. I will say that. She, she was fantastic in this movie. Oh my God! <laughs> Next one is "Won't You Be My Neighbor." Uh, this one is out now as well from Universal Studios Home Entertainment. Um, 
I didn't get to see this. I the limited release that it had in theaters. I didn't get to to see it. I really wanted to. Didn't get to see it. Um, glad it came in for review uh, here at home uh, because I've been wanting to watch this forever. I grew up on Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers was a big influence on me and and being kind to people, um, being nice to people, and, and be ve being very empathetic towards others. Um, so I was really excited. I really wanted to know to know more about him. I've read about him uh, in the past, but I wanted to see more like archival footage and we get that a lot here we see a lot of archival footage of fred rogers himself and just you know it's a, a lot it's, it's very documentary style obviously um but uh to see this man like not on his show and just being such a nice person man it just made me smile so much i could not stop smiling and the other thing too is I could not stop crying. <laughs> I cried so much during this movie. Um, and I, I took, I was going to post a, post some video uh, of, uh, it was like a reaction video of me watching this movie. Uh, and I watched it back and I was like, no, there's no way I'm putting this out. <laughs> uh, I think I still have the file somewhere, but this was a really good movie. Very touching. Um, again, it, uh, if you grew up with this man then you know exactly what i'm talking about and if you didn't grow up with this man i urge you urge you urge you to watch this movie because we need more of this people like this man in this world uh you know very caring very uh you know thoughtful of others and things like that fantastic movie all around and then here goes the back here if you guys don't know what it's about all right and then it goes the inside here. This movie, I don't even care. No discard. It could have just been just a, just no discard at all. And just, you know, just the reflective cover. And I would have been good with that. <laughs> that would have been fine. All right. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Won't You Be My Neighbor. This one is out now from, uh, from Universal Studios Home Entertainment. Now, I have heard a lot of people saying that they haven't been able to find this on Blu-ray at all. Um, and I've gone to a couple stores. I've only seen DVD copies of it. So I'm interested to see uh, if you guys have, have seen Blu-ray copies of this out in the wild. Let me know. All right, next up we have Flora. This one is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. Now, this one is an interesting one. I, this one sounded interesting right from the start, so I wanted to watch it so bad. Um, the movie, it, it was really interesting <laughs> um i believe this was it oh, okay it takes place in 1929 right and this group of, of botanists go out into the, the middle of this forest um and they're trying to collect data on on various plants and things like that uh they go out there and then they realize that the the people that they were going to meet out there they're not there and everything seems like very eerily quiet and calm and then they start kind of figuring out. I'm, I'm not going to go deep into it. But they, they start realizing that we haven't seen any animals or insects or anything like that. What the hell is going on? And things go haywire. I'll say that. Uh, it rem reminded me a lot of like uh, kind of like what the disease is in The Last of Us in, the cer in a cer to a certain extent. This, this is not like that. I, I will say that uh, so don't expect that but um it reminded me there's certain things that reminded me of that disease from the last of us game uh but really really good movie i, I was very pleasantly surprised with this movie no creek uh made the right right call of putting this one out because i loved it i really did highly highly recommend checking this out there it goes uh if you guys don't know what it's about and then special features as well and this is it, it's an it's an indie movie. Um, you'll you'll kind of get that feel from it from the start, but then as it progresses, you'll realize, wow, they they did a lot and they created a lot of tension and and thrills with what they had and stuff like that. I appreciate a whole lot, like just like that uh, like that DIY kind of culture things like I, I love that kind of stuff. And you know what? I, I don't use these, um, so. 
if somebody wants to watch it, here goes the digital copy and the instructions on how to redeem it. Check that out if you guys can. And if you have redeemed it, then just put it in the comments below, you know, redeem Flora, just so that way people can know. But I highly suggest picking this one up uh, and, and checking it out because it was really, really good. And then there goes uh, the disc there. It has some really cool disc art that's different than the cover. Well, kind of different than the cover. But really, really cool. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Flora. This one is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. All right. Moving right along, we have Predator on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital. You see here. Love the artwork on the front, too. Fantastic. One of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, love the Predator. Love the Predator franchise as a whole. I still have not watched the new one, though. Um, I plan on doing that really, really soon. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the new one, if you guys have seen the new one. No spoilers, but let me know what you thought. Uh, anyway, fantastic movie. I, I could not wait to check this out on 4K as soon as I got it in. Uh, and this one was was really weird because um, I wasn't planning on buying it right away. So I kind of waited. And uh, like two weeks after it came out, uh, Fox sent it over for me to review, <laughs> which was really odd. Normally, they don't, you know, studios don't send stuff after the fact. Uh, especially that much after the fact. But very thankful for Fox for sending this over. Uh, fantastic movie. Again, if you guys don't know you know, what the Predator is, uh, who the Predator is, uh, what it's about, I'm not even going to tell you. Just go watch it. You, you, I think you, you'll dig it uh, if you have not seen it, if you're a little on the younger side or anything like that. But anyway, fantastic movie. Looks great on 4K Ultra HD. Uh, there is a lot of film grain still present, which, again, that's to be expected. And I, I wouldn't want... A movie like this to be completely smoothed out either uh just because it is you know it's a classic you know but colors pop uh, uh and, and are more vibrant in a lot of different places uh which is really cool and then towards the finale where again it, it is a lot darker um you can actually see everything a lot better the 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 blacks are are, are blacker <laughs> or, you know the the black levels are adjusted properly i'll say that but it looks great uh, on 4k and here goes back here. If you guys don't know what it's about, the special features as well. All right. Now, uh, again, I, I'll, I'll add also that this isn't a perfect 4K release either. It does have its issues and its little hiccups and things like that. But um, it, it's if you got to go on a, on, a, on a scale of like 1 to 100, um, I'll say this is a good, a solid like 75. I'll say that. It's a, it's a decent, decent transfer. Um, does have digital copy, and then here you have the Blu ray on this side, 4K on this side. I kind of really wish that we would have got some disc art though, that would have been really cool, at least on the 4K. Uh, that would have been really nice to see. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Predator. This one is out now from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. All right, and next up. We have one. I was I was on the hunt for this one when it came out. I completely forgot it was coming out, and then by the time I went to go look for it, um, they were all gone, and I could not find them for like two weeks or something like that. Um, and that is the Hocus Pocus Best Buy exclusive steel book. <laughs> um, and then I saw people selling them online for like almost a hundred bucks. I'm like, okay, you guys are nuts. You guys are crazy. Um, don't be flipping stuff like that and then expect people to pay it. I'm sure some people paid it. If you did, I'm sorry. Because literally, they started going back on sale, like, I think two weeks later. And I was able to secure a copy online. Um, so I, I'm glad I finally got it. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. But I love the, the detail on this. And this was an affordable steelbook. I believe it was, like, I think $12 or $14, something like that. So it's not bad, man. And a really cool steelbook. It reminds, <laughs> reminds me a lot of the Necronomicon, obviously. And that's another reason why I really wanted to get it. Uh, but yeah, well, let's go ahead and take this off and uh, so we can really take a look at it. I'm excited. I haven't had a chance, again, to even touch this at all. Uh, but really, really looking forward to it. And I was seeing everybody posting pictures and all that stuff. I'm like, no, I want one. <laughs> but I wasn't fixing to go pay no 75, 100 bucks for it either. That's nuts, though. Um, all right, some fantastic details 
on here. Look at that. Nice embossing here, over here in the corner, and then over here. I don't know. It's just some some gloss here, some spot gloss. But fantastic. I love it. Love the, the, the little details that they put into it. And this movie is just a fantastic movie all around. I grew up watching this movie. And I, I can't wait. My son hasn't seen it yet. So I cannot wait for him to check it out. Really, really good. And right now, again, it's perfect month for that. Nice spot glossing everywhere, like on the stitches and things like that. So it's really cool. And some nice embossing here. Really nice. Love that a lot. And then the back here. And that's just spot gloss everywhere. Nothing's embossed or debossed. Yeah. But really, really nice as well. All right, let's open this up. Does come with digital copy. Okay. And then we have the disc here. Really cool. And then the cool interior artwork. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's really cool. Witch's Brew. So this is basically the, uh, the ingredients for Witch Witch's Brew. <laughs> really cool. And then here goes the front and back and spine for Hocus Pocus. This is the Best Buy, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Um, I think that you can still find them. I'm not 100% though. The Nightmare Before Christmas ones, I think those have already gone, if I'm not mistaken. The Nightmare Before Christmas ones were cool too. Uh, it had a Jack Skellington glow in the dark in the front. Uh, really nice. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put this back up over here. All right, next up we have Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich <laughs> on, on 4K Ultra HD. And this one is out now from RLJ Entertainment. Now, every time, I, I love the Puppet Master, Puppet Master, <laughs> Master, Master franchise. Um, it, it's, it's been one that I, I've watched, I think, pretty much from the very beginning. I might have maybe skipped around like a couple of them in the middle. But uh, it's always really fun to watch. You know what you're getting. It's just, you know kind of uh, possessed puppets that, that kill, <laughs> you know? And they kill in the most gruesome way. Um, and this is perfect. This is a perfect Halloween movie. I'll, I'll add to that. that, that it's, it was really good. Um, I hadn't seen a Puppet Master movie in a while. So seeing it uh, recently was really, really fun for me. I sat down and I kind of giggled the entire way through. Um, it's, I will say this, this movie is very, very gory very very gruesome uh so if you're not used to that in your horror movies and things like that then maybe this one isn't isn't for you but i find that stuff kind of fun um you know in a weird way i it, i know it sounds weird <laughs> but um it, it's it's cheesy it's cheesy but in the best possible way in the best like horror way um and this really does remind me uh and throw me back to to the times when I, we used to go me and my friends used to go rent horror movies at Blockbuster. Uh, so I, I highly suggest picking this one up. Thomas Lennon is, is in it as well. Um, fantastic actor. All right. And then here goes the back here, if you guys don't know what it's about. But really cool. They changed the design of them a, a bit uh, over the years. But they're still the same really cool puppets. And there's there's some new puppets in there as well that, that uh, to me, like, I thought were a little weird. But uh, they're still really cool. And then here goes the Blu-ray on this side and then the 4K on this side, which I like that they added like this two, two different disc art. Really, really cool. I like that. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Puppet Master, the Littlest Reich, out now from RLJ Entertainment. Every time I say it, every time I, I, every time I say the Littlest Reich, I always want to say, oh, you're such a little Reich. <laughs> I, 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 it makes me want to, like, talk baby talk to this movie in my head for some odd, odd reason. <laughs> or either that or it reminds me of, like, a toy commercial. Oh, the little Ray. Anyway, sorry. I'm... <laughs> Lack of sleep, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have uh, Supergirl, the complete second season. Uh, and this one's just like the Flash one. Um, I saw this one randomly on on best buy.com for 12.99 i'm like hell yeah i gotta jump on it because uh i love all these dc uh dc shows and the arrowverse shows uh to be more specific now this one came in the mail um and it 
came, again, from Best Buy, in a bubble mailer. Um, just like the bubble wrap, you know, like the bubble wrap mailer where... That, that, that annoyed me. On top of that, when it came in, uh, I was kind of like walking by the door and all I hear is boom. I'm like, what the hell was that? I open the door and it's sitting on the floor. So that means my post office, my postman, uh, came over and just dumped it on the floor, right? So opened it up and I had it sealed for like two or three days. I finally got a chance to open it, and then I noticed that. So you can see that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did a little Instagram story on this, and there's a big, huge dent right there. Like, it's not even, it's not like just a little dent. It's like it's got smashed in. Like, it fell on the corner of the steel book. There goes the back. And if you can hear that, I heard that, and I was like, Damn it. <laughs> so, um, so it, well, you know what? I don't know. I, I can't remember if I gave this one to my brother or not. Um, but here, you can have that code. Somebody can have that code and redeem it. If you guys are interested, hopefully it works. I, I'm not too, uh, I'm not a hundred percent if it works. Um, but yeah, so it comes with that as well. Um, so I was looking through, here goes the disc here. Disc one. Stuff fell out. Look. <sighs> disc two. Look. That's broken. And then I think one of the disc one of the disc thing, this one right here is all cracked and broken in the inside. So I I was I was pissed off. I was really mad. I don't get mad very often, but when I do, I'm like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a damn good reason I'm mad. <laughs> so it came all broken and busted, like literally, like everything just falls out pretty much, which really, really sucked, man. I was bummed out like big time. But then I, after, I hate talking to Best Buy uh, like customer service. They are... Sometimes they can be really helpful. Sometimes they can be some of the worst. Um, and I, I I was able to get another copy. So that, that was a good thing at least. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it comes with the episode guide and all that stuff. You already saw all the discs. Let's go ahead and show the interior artwork real quick. And the back here. Which is just a continuation of that artwork. See that? I mean, it looks great. And I'm glad I was able to get another copy of this. Because this is a really beautiful looking steel book. With uh, the nice artwork here on the front as well. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you don't get it found it informative in any way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And with all that being said. We'll catch you next time.